Okay. I'm Rainy Winter and I'm the founder of the Milkweed for Monarchs project at Winter Haven Wildflowers and Native Plant Preserve in West Point, Indiana. Great, and I believe you're the only person in Indiana who is doing this kind of work to restore the habitat that's essential for monarchs. Correct. I'm that? doing it on a wide scale basis. Every fall I go out and collect uh, milkweed pods and ask other people to collect them and send them to me and then I make sure that they get a good place to grow and the milkweed fluff was used during World War II to, um, uh, for the flotation collars for the paratroopers and school children had to go out and collect them but since then it's been destroyed by thousands of acres a day and milkweed is the only host plant for the monarch caterpillar and this is the majestic monarch butterfly. Right, we're all familiar with that and, and milkweed is the only host, host plant. plant. Why, why is that? The um, milkweed has the white milk in it is a toxin that does not hurt the monarch but it does make birds uh, that might attack the monarch sick and so they've learned over thousands of years to leave the monarchs alone so that's their main defense mechanism and now the monarch's only enemy is man because we're destroying their habitat and so those of us who love the monarch are doing everything we can to restore the habitat and the monarch watch program um, is monitoring their migration and also encourages people to plant monarch way stations that would include milkweed any place you want to attract monarchs you have to include milkweed and live monarch if you go to www.livemonarch.org org um, you also can learn a lot about monarchs great and you were mentioning that you're working with a park or you hope to work with um, Indiana Dunes Park yes um, what I plan to do this is my first experience at uh, with the National Park Service but I came here with the idea of promoting grow zones at the national parks and at the parks in Indiana where uh, places will be set aside specifically to grow milkweed because the farmers can't have it because it's toxic to their animals. So we need to set aside a place so that these beautiful butterflies that fly to Mexico and back every year can have a place to lay their eggs. And is it relatively easy to grow in, in all kinds of climate zones? I yes. Mean, it grows. Milkweed, there are about over a hundred species of milkweed. Um, I like to grow the common milkweed um, which has this large pod because they also have large leaves but um, there's a very popular milkweed, the tuberosa or butterfly weed that has an orange um, bloom and that's very popular in landscaping and that is also a milkweed. Any type of milkweed is suitable for the monarch to lay its eggs. Great, so people can come to your website and get all the information they need and yes, you can help them can. find milkweed seed. Absolutely, I give it away, I'll send it to you or if you want to get a lot then it'd be nice if you could buy it. Um, my website is www.winterhavenfarm.us Right, and we'll put that next to the video. Thank you very much for your Wonderful. good work. Wonderful. Thank you so much and the monarchs, thank you. <laughs> Viva la monarca!